Hey guys, it's me Stormy and here is your weekly horoscope for the week of January 22nd. So congratulations last week to Miss Jessica Ben. She was the winner of our big fat mystery box for the week. So congrats to you. And this week I have got another package for you from our friends from Azure Green. And this one is the Air Bath Salt Collection, getting you ready for that solar eclipse coming in February. So if you would like to win that, like this video, comment, share, subscribe down below. Definitely click that like button and uh, you can enter to win that. Now this week, really, it's so funny. I've been following this other YouTuber and he always says it's time to get the tea, right? Like he's going to get to the dirty, dirty, or just get to the juicy meat of what's going on undercover. And we really get to do that this week. Looking here at Wednesday, January 24th, Mercury is going to merge with Pluto. So we're going to get undercover and we're going to communicate because Mercury is about communication. Pluto is about digging deep, right? So we're going to get the tea. Okay, we're going to to have conversations. We're going to share information. We're going to investigate. We're going to maybe want to study, right? Things like that. It gets very, very deep. And it, there's almost an obsessive need to like dig for information or even just introspectively, depending on where it's happening in your chart, you could really be thinking about something over and over again. And you're thinking about it because you're trying to make progress on it. Now we have this shift as we get here to Friday the 26th, where Mars is gonna leave that deep Scorpio energy and it's gonna move into Sagittarius. Now Mars in Sagittarius is action meets adventure, right? Action meets seeking the truth, action meets seeking knowledge. So moving forward for the rest of this month, for sure, we're gonna have Mars in the Sagittarian energy giving you plenty of opportunities to do things, go adventure things, study things, expand, get out. Maybe you want to do a little bit of travel. Now, one of the other things I think about with this as well, with just the um, risk taking nature of Sagittarians, this could actually be a very good week if you wanted to play sports or get involved with something like that. It's really delicious for that. Now, the last time you got to really use this kind of energy um, in this way, was in 2016, so you definitely wanna make this good, okay? Like, hang on to this energy and roll with it this week. Take action to start that new adventure. Okay, so now early, Saturday the 27th, we've got the sun over here in Aquarius, the moon over here in Gemini, and they're gonna come into a trine with each other. Now, because Aquarius and Gemini are both air signs and they're both very social, right? They do like to communicate. This is a wonderful time to network, have conversations with people, be out, be with people, um, build new associations, Get to let other associations get to know you. I mean, I'm telling you, so much of us are so many of us are out there trying to build these new reputations, be known in the world, represent ourselves differently, represent our businesses differently, whatever it is. So you got to kind of get out there and get known. Now, this is also a very social energy. You could take advantage of it online just as easily as you could in person. But let me tell you what, I feel like you're going to gain a lot if you will actually um, seek maybe to have some face to face conversation with people this week, if you can as well, instead of just connecting online. Nothing wrong with it, but if you can also get some one-on-one -on -one time, I think it'll be really good as well. So kind of a friendly week. We're going to start off digging for the tea, and then we get to get social. So hopefully what that does not look like is you find out the tea, and then you go spread the gossip. <laughs> be bigger, be better than that, you guys, okay? I love you guys a ton. I hope to see you in $3 Thursdays. That'll be happening in February and, of course, throughout the rest of the year. Links are in the description box down below. In February, we're going to be talking about where the transits are hitting in your chart. So if you are unsure of where that's happening still in your chart, if you hear me say Saturn's in Capricorn, in the third house and you know for sure that's not happening in your chart but you don't really know talking about the transits and talking about where these are placed in your own chart is what we're going to study um, in February I love you guys like this video comment share subscribe and I'll see you next week bye